a small world for what? I'm your new classmate. Hey, mister. You bumped me. Sorry. Don't you ever look where you're going? Said I was sorry. Hey, you're that new kid from Chicago, ain't you? Perhaps. Smart Alex, huh? <laughs> Listen here, fella. <laughs>
Seriously, <laughs> he's joking, right? Can I get it? Tell me this is a human when you inform your friend. It's against the law. Dancing, get out. Shut up! <laughs> Mr. Clark, sir, my friend is very sorry. He was ignorant of our local law, and I will inform him of his ignorance. <laughs> and I will see the both of you in my office after school. <laughs> I'm sure we all have places to be. Anybody survive? Whew. Yeah. And the sheriff's office published the autopsy report, and they found out that there was marijuana and alcohol in their blood. Well, the town went nuts. And that's when Reverend Moore got so righteous. He started blaming everything and anything. Liquor, drugs, rock and roll. And dancing. You got it. They decided it was all a sin, and they passed this law. Just like that. Wait, Reverend Moore has that kind of power? <laughs> Reverend Moore. <laughs> He is the power. He is the law. How can you stand to live like this? <laughs> practice. Years and years of practice. Yeah. It's not like Chicago. Oh, it must be so way cool to live in a city and be able to get mugged by people you don't even know. <laughs> yeah, I missed that. Yeah. I, know, I just thought living in a small town was going to be perfect. Like, one big happy family. <laughs> Let me tell you about that family. <laughs> There's tongues wagging every time you make a move.
boys know the difference between a wrestling match and a street fight. Really, Coach? Usually a wrestling match is one on one! That is enough, you. This is the third time as many weeks that you've been dragged into my office. I'm suspending you from the wrestling team indefinitely. Bye now. 